Hi, this is Neil from UseMyFrame.com, and today I'm going to show you the difference, a real-world example, between the Transitions Gen 8 Extra Active and the new Extra Active Polarized. Here we go. All right, and here I already took the lenses out of the wrappers, uh, but this is your Transitions Gen 8, your Transitions Extra Active, and the new Transitions Extra Active Polarized. They're all gray. And I got them in this white paper just so you can get a, an idea of how they look indoors. Now, these have no sunlight, just took them out of the package. So you'll see the regular Gen 8 is totally clear. But there is a slight residual tint with both of these Extra Actives. The regular extra actives and then your extra active polarized all right and just to you kind of see how it that's your regular regular gen 8 extra active and extra active polarized and I'm doing it this way sorry for the moving the camera around but this way there's no cuts to the film it's just one continuous um, that way you can see just how these look now I'm going to take these outside and we're going to see how they turn in the sun all right And it's about a little after four o'clock. We're in Illinois. I actually I wanted to make this video earlier, but the weather's been the weather's been so bad here. Uh, just hasn't been ideal to do this. So you got your transitions generation eight on the left, the extra active in the middle, and the new extra active polarized on the end. of how they look look at them now the new gen 8 they're a good 30 percent darker than the gen 7 so these are still a really good transition lens um a good overall you know it's now people that want lenses that will partially darken in the car and get darker than your regular transitions that's what your extra active is designed to do it's designed to do that just that and then to take it one notch up the newest ones even add a polarizing filter to it so which will help reduce the glare that you'll find on top of the you know on top of water on top of snow these are these are the newest generation of transitions and you notice these have a line see that yellow mark that's so when we go to uh, edge these into the lens we know to keep this uh, on the 180 to maximize the polarized efficiency if you do it incorrectly or off axis you won't be blocking out as much of that light so Notice all of them have a good, a nice solid gray color to them. There's no purplish, there's no blue. All right, so we still got all three in the, in the sunlight. The sun is behind a little bit of clouds, typical Illinois, but uh, it still gives you an idea of them being dark equally in equal sunlight still your gen 8 extra active extra active polarized and now i'll take i'll take them inside and you can see how they light because i get that question a lot too okay 
So you can definitely see the darkness of the extra active over the regular Gen 8, right? And there's the packages just to keep it as a reminder. And the new one, so it appears that the extra active, they look even a little darker than the, than the newest ones, but they're not polarized. So that's the other thing. Now I'll make another video comparing the extra active polarized to a regular polarized lens and even to a regular clear lens, just so you can kind of get an idea of how it compares and uh, I'll even try to do them in the car or you know any ideas feel free let me know in the comments I always looking for suggestions uh, definitely helps so now I want to talk about the Gen 8 the first one you notice how this one is much clearer relatively speaking than these are because part of that is because this one is not getting as dark as these other two are either so that's something else to consider when you're shopping for transition lenses if you go in and out a lot or you really don't like um, you know the delay you want them to be clear as quick as possible when you go inside uh, your gen 8 your regular transitions gen 8 are gonna be the best way to go um, because your other ones just are gonna get so dark so much more darker that it just takes more time to get to that lighter state. So you see, there already are, uh, they already are clearing up. And just to see how it looks, looking out, you can see it's, you know, if you're inside, that's totally clear. And I will put in a, uh, run a stopwatch when I do this, when I edit this video, just so you can see, um, you know, how long it's been since they've all been out of direct UV exposure. So I'll let this, it's, uh, since I started recording this video right now, it's been a little over three minutes. So, and that's one of the great improvements that they made with the Gen 8 is it's about 30% faster returning to its clear state. Um, so that's, you know, if it's been a while since you're, you know, even if your prescription's good, but you're wearing transition lenses, uh, even photochromics, you know, and I, I did do a video a few years ago, which was by far the most popular video on YouTube. Uh, I'll even link it in one of the cards if you want to look at it. But in there I showed the, the topic was what's the difference between photochromics and transitions? And uh, in a nutshell, your transitions are a name brand photochromic. So um, these are, when, when you do get transitions, transitions are going to usually cost a little more than your photochromics. Um, but part of that is there is a specific recipe for the colors that are used, for the timings that are used. You know, sometimes customers will want to replace just one lens with us. And if that's a photochromic, well, was it a Visionese lens? Was it a Hoya lens? Was it a Seiko lens? Was it, you know, any of these other ones? There's so many different options. It's, it would be really hard to try to match them perfectly. Um, you know, and if it's been time, uh, you know, if the lenses are a little long, then, uh, you know, they're going to lose their effectiveness of darkening over time anyway, and they won't match. But just all things being considered, uh, if it's, on the other hand, if it's a transitions, well, if it's a, say it was a Gen 7, you match it with a Gen 7 and it's going to be very, very, very close, you know, right out the box. So definitely an advantage of that. So I'll let this go just a little more. And uh, again, you guys got any questions on this? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I do read every one and I do answer every one. And uh, yeah, I am grateful for everyone watching and subscribing. Don't forget to do that if you haven't. And I'll be sure to post more like this 
because uh, I know we've gotten several since we launched an email campaign about the new transitions, extra active polarized. Uh, we've been getting quite a few inquiries about it uh, and orders coming through because people just love the idea of, uh, you know, transitions used to have, they still do to some extent, but they would have the extra active and then they would have a vantage and the vantage was a transition that polarized, but it wasn't as dark as the extra active. So now it's like they've combined the extra active with the vantage. And now you have the um, transitions extra active polarized. It's a mouthful. So there you go. I hope that helps. Uh, again, it's been a, you know, it might seem a little lengthy, but the point of it was to see an unedited and I will not do any color grading or, you know, you know, uh, any of that kind of stuff, trying to make things look better than they are or darker or clearer or anything like that. That's what you get uh, with use my frame. You get real honest, uh, information. <laughs> okay. Hope that helps again. Thanks for watching. Wait, where are you going? I got an offer for you. To thank you for watching this video, if you're interested in ordering transition lenses, whether you want the Gen 8, the Extra Active, or the new Extra Active Polarized, I want you to use this coupon code on our website and I'm gonna take $20 off. Use YouTube Trans. So Y-O-U-T-U-B-E-T-R-A-N-S. Put that in right before checkout and it'll automatically take off $20. Try these lenses, I think you'll love them. You can send us a frame of your own or we have frames on our website too. Either way, go to usemyframe.com. At the very top, you'll see a link that says lenses or right on the homepage, the very first link over the picture of the girls holding the camera, it says shop lenses. Click there, fill out the form, view cart, and right, I think the next page after that, you'll see a little box where to enter in the coupon code. YouTube Trans, for transitions, easy to remember, you're gonna take 20 bucks off. I know you'll love them. Hey, if you don't, we guarantee everything anyway. Send them back, full refund, don't worry about it. But I really do, I think you'll love them. Thank you again for watching.